H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Here. So you went to Java generator. Uh, one sec. Yeah, try any of these tools. Basically, you'll be having one. Let's say Java to UML. I think this one you can probably use it. Try using it. If not, I'll see if I I can pull in any other softwares for you. Okay jar to uml okay so there are a lot of tools but the thing is these tools if you install it at, uh, after some times they'll ask you to uh, have have the uh, licensed version okay so these are all not no, not licensed i believe uh, this you can just use it for a couple of days or so and then you can install it again okay all right uh, let's move on Um, okay. So I was talking about string pool right here. New class string pool. All right. So I was talking about a string name equals to Jeram string name two equals to jram string name three equals to jram okay so when i run this application can can you guys tell me how many object gets created here three object right Okay, I, I would I would uh, prefer you guys just type in so that uh, it'll be convenient to everyone. Okay, so I get a lot of question, a lot of answers as three, 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 uh, one from someone. Okay, yeah, actually, uh, okay, uh, the person who has told uh, one, can you just give me why? Uh, because um, I I read that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Java Java if if you uh, uh, the this is the uh, literal java jira literal mm -hmm. string uh, java will keep track of uh, uh, same literal strings and then it, it keeps uh, if you if you are creating another literal string it will keep the same literal string and then gives the pointer to it to the next layer. right exactly that's the point out here all right so what happens basically um, in your heap you have got a string pool basically all right so what happens is when you say string name equal to jram basically one object gets created out here all right and in that object the value will be your jram okay now what happens when you say name to okay so you have a reference which is referring to your this object now when you create name to out here again what happens a name to gets created instead of creating a new object what happens the same reference he is going to refer to the same object out here Okay, the same thing goes for your name three. But what if I say name four equals to new of string? So when I say it in this way, basically the it is going to create one more new object in the memory, and it is going to assign that particular reference to name four. Okay, so why? is it like this now in java uh, in real time or or if you guys are even practicing you will tend uh, you will end up using lot of strings in your uh, in your application 
okay string is the most common object which you use everywhere okay uh even though it is a character let's say you say string uh flag okay so it just in this flag you just got yes or no value in this this case you can use uh, us as a character also but still i'm using a string out here okay so everything you'll see every now and then you'll be seeing that uh, you're using a string ob string object out here okay now java for that reason because if the if you end up creating multiple objects in your uh, in your heap okay in your memory so within no time your objects will be i mean your your memory will be full and it's gone all right so what happens is java is pretty much intelligent enough that and it it is uh, intelligent enough to say that whenever you create multiple string object with the same name only one object will be created that's what and it will be kept in the string pool out here all right anyone anyone in in the complete application anyone in the entire application when i talk about entire application every application run its own, in its own virtual machine okay and anyone in that application will use the string name as jaram again they will not create a new object instead they will just refer that existing uh, reference to the to the new reference okay so for that reason it is important to understand what is a string here okay and let's say uh, i think in the previous example we saw something name okay now let us do one thing uh coming back to the two classes example okay pool did we use that anywhere all right so when i say i want to say sys out and say name for i know i have already told you this as name right so this case i will obviously get a value as false now how do i make this as true i'll just say name for dot equals but when it it's primitive data type it's not like this right uh, right it's not like that it's not for primitive this is only for your strings we are talking about in specific so right click run as java application so what happens so uh, this is a kind of a method which is present in your object class and it is for that reason present in every uh, every each and every class okay so you can just invoke dot equals on each and every class to make sure to check that whether these two strings are same or not now string has got an equals method wherein it does some functionality to check whether two strings are same or not okay so how do i implement these the same functionality out here now let's say i say uh, human human equals to new human organize uh, and say talk about this human and i create a human with a country let's say so i create a human with country usa now oh, let me take one more uh with name height and country so name height and country okay now i want to create one more human human 2 with same name height and country now i say sys out human dot equals human 2 now what will be the answer out here will it be true or false okay okay all right okay so madhu again uh, you you gave the right answer and uh, you read it somewhere <laughs> okay all right so uh huh right right yeah so right click run as java application i get it as false out here okay the reason uh, when you just open the equals method what it does basically it checks whether these two belongs to the same reference or not okay 
Now, if I say something like this, uh, human, uh, human, uh, let's say, let me make this as one and make this as one. Okay, and this make this as one, one equals to human one. Now, if I say human one dot equals to human two, uh, sorry, human one one, run this, right click, run as Java application, I get it as, get it as true. Okay, why do I get it as true? If you go and uh, see the equals method, the, the default functionality of the equals method, it says this dot equals to equals to. When you talk about equals to equals to, it always talks about the reference of that particular object okay but when you talk about equals it talks about the actual value but when you talk about equals in string it talks about the actual value but when you talk about equals in any of the object it is not it basically checks whether these two are of the same reference or not but still i want to check whether these two humans are same or not what i have to do is i have to override this particular equals method in my own class so let me go to the human here and control space equals all right so what do i do here i say um uh, what is shortcut to use to go super class then come back uh just say control press the control and there is a super class no, there is no functionality as such just press on your control key and then click on the class class file in Eclipse, it goes to your actual file. Okay. Okay. So what do I do here? I just say, uh, no, first of all, if you see here, what do I have it here as an, as a, uh, as an argument, right? I have something as an object out here. Now, what am I passing out here? I'm passing a human out here. Okay. Now, what do I do here? What should I do in order to convert my human reference to object uh, my object reference in this class to human? So my objective is I just need to say if this dot country equals to the object which I passed on, that's what you're on this human dot equals to human one one. How do I do that? I have to go to your equals method in this equals method. I have to check whether this, this particular class, that means where is that? Where is this? Okay, so this particular class country equals to this param object dot country. Okay, so if this dot country equals to this parameter object dot country and this dot, what is that? I kept height, okay this dot height equals to param object dot height and I want you guys to type in if you have the answer with uh, with you uh, on what should I do in order to get rid of this compile time error the one you see it in the meantime I'm just typing my code so this dot name equals to param object dot name okay so if this condition is true to me i'm just going to say return true else return false yes okay so we are just supposed to say return false out here now what am i going to do here i'll just remove this this is not required for me i'm going to do a okay i just got only one answer out here from a uh, lot of folks out of lot of folks i just got only one answer that is not satisfactory to me at least you guys didn't go with uh, go through the videos. Is there any way for querying a particular interface? 
replace with equals no querying particular interface uh i did not get your question uh, madhu ji when you say querying your interface is there a way for querying a particular interface what does that mean like a kind of reflection like if you see if the object implements that uh, interface or class something see when you talk about reflections also we'll down the line we are going to do that in that case also you are going to see okay this is the particular object so ultimately you have to understand what is an object is right so on that particular reference itself you are going to invoke those those uh, properties okay in reflection also you will do the same thing okay anyways we'll when we talk about reflection we'll talk about those things um no okay i've got couple of answers out here uh, so i just got only one answer right so let me just tell you what to do here now what is this object out here what is that close this string pooling so uh the object is the one object we are passing as human so what you have to do is as we have referred it to uh, as this is the reference of your super class from super class i have to cast it back to your sub class right so i just need to say here uh human object okay i'll just say here human object equals to cast this which one you are you are supposed to cast param object and use the same human object in all the places so this equals to equals to this and this height equals to equals to this and this dot name equals to equals to so and so that means everything is fine if all okay so if you, you want to see if you see here so it was in single line and i was not able to see so i just uh, selected this particular line and i just told control shift f okay so it got formatted for me and it is in two three different lines okay so ultimately you're saying if this dot country equals to the human object which you casted right now to country and this dot height equals to height this dot height equals to your human object uh, dot name sorry this dot name equals to name in that case return true otherwise return false okay let us go back and rerun the same application again so right click uh, run as java application in this case for me both the conditions are true for me okay so with the one equals it does not produce boolean value uh see there are different ways of implementing this i could have instead of this one i wrote multiple lines of code right i can even say return this okay it's a single line of code but just to make you guys comfortable okay i just added an if and else condition out here all right okay so run as uh, java application it it is giving me true and true reason when it comes here it basically you're trying to check the values now it is your responsibility whenever you want to make sure the whether two objects are same or not you have to override your equals method okay where it's very important to understand what is an equals method because down the line when we talk about collections we will see what is the actual use of your equals method so it is very important to understand what is an equals method out here okay um any more questions uh-huh your voice is not clear you're talking about overloading here let's let's do it here uh okay so you have already equals method out here right so let me copy this and paste it out here okay and i have let's say string name so what did i do 
I have overridden this particular method, right? But what is the use of overriding, overriding this particular method? Sorry, overloading this particular method. It's just a normal method, right? Okay, you're talking about this way. So you're just saying human out here. Uh, yes, you can do that. You can you can do that. Okay. Uh, yes, in practical, yes, right click run a Java application, right? It does the same thing. So you can override it accordingly. So there is no harm in not overriding it in the other way out. Okay. But in more generic, you you basically pass on a, an object or yes, as you said, we can pass a human class also by there uh, by itself, and we can do achieve the same thing. Okay. All right. So, any if you can provide real examples, it will be. Uh, yeah, this is a real example. Uh, uh, in indeed, you know. In real time, this is how you, even you do it. Okay. And when we talk about uh, collections, you see more examples out there uh, to make uh, make you more uh, more uh, comfortable. And but in the real time also, you do the same thing out here. You know. Is it possible to use more real world application example to explain these topics? Uh, more real world examples I'll try to do that but I feel okay is there anything which you didn't understand uh, in this particular topic question mm -hmm. that uh, when we did uh, the casting first the question is that how did you uh, make that uh, the equals method from the uh, object uh -huh. class appear on the screen we did what did you press like uh, you're talking the about others? this one yeah, i'm talking about the with the equals method where we have overridden it Huh, okay. This one? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, you you press something, then this uh, the, the method appeared. Right here, if you... If this is my string pool class, this is my client program. I just did a control and clicked on this. I've already told that in the, in the, in the session right now. Just say press control and click on the methods and you go to that particular method in Eclipse. All right, and uh, the next thing is that when we learned about casting, we learned that uh, we have a method, and uh, suppose that uh, method is uh, the a method is not available in a particular class, mm -hmm. then we do the casting, right? Correct. So here we are uh, doing the casting first, and I mean to say that. Uh, why we are writing here? I understand that there is no method in this uh, uh, in this the one which you used before. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, the object. Mm -hmm. um, but why we are uh, doing it here? Okay. I remember we did like that. If uh, we did the method was was not available. Right. We uh, right. did the casting and then called on the method. Okay. I don't understand. No. Did you did you yeah. practice the other examples as such? Because uh, if you would have at least done that, this would have been never come to your mind. But again, I'll just tell you that if you use a object out here, let's say I'm just renaming this to an object. Okay. Now tell me, from your client program, I'm passing a human here, right? Okay. Now, in this case, if you if I use the same object, okay. So let's say this is not at all present anywhere for me. It's all it's all blank. Now I have only the object here. I've got this. This is what when I talk about this one, the human one. I have got the human one details. I just say here, this dot name, 
equals to on which particular object are you going to compare i just say object dot do you have name out here there is no name out here yes but i know that this object the one which i'm passing is of type human being okay right now what should i do in this case i should basically point to a particular class on which this particular uh, this object has been passed right now i know that from my client program i am comparing two objects so on that on this object i am passing one more object to check whether these two objects are same or not correct now what is this human level 11 this human level 11 is nothing but an object which is we have already seen with the help of my super class reference i can create a instance of my sub classes right let's say for example i can just say here object human to all equals to new of so this is this is this is what you understand is it correct yes i right? i understand all of this uh huh yeah no i don't understand why we are writing this casting inside the method that's e the whole thing okay so why are we writing yeah. this now tell me if i do not write this do I, does this object has a name in it it doesn't have it right no it doesn't have no what should i do in order to get that i need to cast this object to a particular type that is your human hu equals to i have this object no doubt this object i'll cast yeah. it to a particular class okay now I, I, right. at this point of time i've got a human object but okay on this human object i'm going to say human dot name so this is i get it as human dot name okay so this is a okay. very generic method out here wherein we are just using an object okay probably i'll give you one more example if you guys have time right now just give me 5 minutes okay now let's let's take up one more example out here is there anyone who has the same kind of question i can just give one more example to make you guys more clear on what uh, we are trying to achieve here okay let me okay so at, at least this example is pretty much clear why we are casting out here yes okay fine let me take up one more example um do i have anything casting class casting client all right uh i have got i have got a uh, two classes we have this is the very uh, previous classes which we have discussed one is a computer one is a fish right so computer is again extending your object class and uh, your fish also must be extending your object class correct so if you see the hierarchy out here you have got uh, computer and fish computer extends your object class and the same thing fish extends your object class now what am i going to do is where is my string pool no here when i talk about equals i have used a super class right now in this place i could have even used uh, okay this is not extending anything as this is not extending anything i have used a super class out there that is your object out here okay remove this remove this not interested in this now public uh, okay i know that okay let me first run this run as java application okay you got a class cast let me even comment this out let me first see what all uh, methods present in a computer so computer says sys out i am a computer and uh, fish says swimming okay so computer says something and fish says something now what am i going to do is i'm going to have a generic method public void uh print me and let's say what is the super class of both the both the classes that is your object class copy this okay before even copying that let me take this in this particular class i want to print two functionality one about computer i want to print something about fish 
all right now what i do i i know that two different classes in this you, you have got a company method uh, and this the fish you have got swimming method right now what do i do in order to invoke those functionality in a common functionality i can very well do it in this way i can say let's say i'm using a computer out here let's say i'm going to use a computer out here i'm going to use a fish out here so on this computer i can just say let's say i'm going to rename this as your computer and this is as your fish now when i say comp dot uh, company and fish dot swimming i am very good right click run as java application i can very well do this functionality out here okay uh, i have no problems at all but i want to separate these functionality where i don't want to invoke any of the methods in the same program itself this is my design of doing a program because the lot of designs you will be more comfortable not invoking in the in invoking these apis here instead of you want to separate all these things in a particular let's say here i just say uh, invoke let's say invoke api all right application program interface now here in this case i just want to invoke these these uh, these things out in this particular method so what do i do i i need to say computer i have to pass this computer okay comp comma fish now here in this case uh, when i need to invoke this i need to say static let me make this static as of now so i just say invoke api and say comp and fish so what did i do i created a company a computer i created a, a fish and i passed the com uh, computer here and fish here as a reference the same reference goes to your this one and this one okay and on this i just say comp dot company and fish dot swimming okay now i just took this out out here and took this out out here right click run as java application well and good no no problems at all now tomorrow one more uh, one more classes come up in picture okay now you are saying here i am creating one more computer out here okay and just say dell computer okay so this is your dell computer now what do you do do you go and uh, change this signature as computer again i can do that okay i just said dell here and in this case i'll just pass on dell and come here and just say dell dot company right click run as java application you get the desired result also here in this case how many times will you go ahead and uh, keep doing the changes out here so be very generic out here how will you make a generic api come in this out copy this paste it here now i know that all this for all this three you have got only one super class that is your object class okay this is my own predefined i can just say it as object also so as of now i'm just say object obj object class obj all right now let's see what are, what is the trick i'm going to do right now in this invoke api i'm going to invoke this three times right now okay in this i'm just going to pass comp i'm going to pass dell i'm going to pass fish now what am i going to do in my uh in my api i'm just going to say here if this object is instance of okay if this is an instance of your computer copy this paste it out here then cast this particular object obj two of type computer 
okay and on this particular computer invoke my company okay else if object instance of your fish then do the same thing take this object okay cast this to fish and on this fish invoke the swimming now i have created a very generic i will never come and change this api anymore the only thing is whoever calls this particular api with an object class okay any any of the object i'm good you do any changes here just passed on the object it will come here and make the changes i mean invoke the functionalities as it is right click run as java application does it make sense out here uh yes now it's clear what you were doing there okay yeah thank you all right great yeah uh, guys any other questions if not uh, we have to wind up now i've got one more class right now so thanks for this session and and one more uh, one more thing uh monday i have got uh, some official uh it's an official party yeah so i cannot uh, come on monday so we'll meet up on tuesday itself okay was there a class yesterday no there was no class yesterday <laughs> yep sure <laughs> So there, was, uh, there is no class tomorrow, right? There is no class tomorrow, and I believe you guys are, you guys have got all the videos, uh, proper videos now, is it so? The videos are I all. I tried watching. The videos. No, I tried hmm? watching beginning classes. They are like I couldn't see anything. I think they have uploaded all the videos right now uh, with proper clarity as well, and I would request you guys to go. and check that again okay okay uh, i have received till videos 15 is that with everybody i yes. want to check jira yes yes okay All right jira what are you going to cover on tuesday we'll talk about exceptions okay h2k emphasis provides world class online it training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide h2k infosys how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab resume preparation and review mock interviews robust syllabus one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.